Hello everyone and welcome back to the phys ed department. Today with coach Monique, myself, we are going to be doing a, another basketball inspired movement session, okay? Just a few moves, some athletic moves in there and some that are again, just specific to the sport of basketball, okay? So if you haven't already, let's get up on our feet. We're gonna start warming up, getting ready for our movement session today and we're going to just push through it, okay? So if you're up on your feet, up on your feet, we're gonna start by just dynamically, again, that just means moving through our stretches to warm our bodies up. So you're gonna stand nice and tall. Right, we're gonna do those intro. So you're gonna reach towards your toes, okay? Make sure you really feel that stretch up the back of your leg. We're gonna walk all the way out here, okay? Make sure you come all the way out into a full plank position. Make sure your body is straight, and then push right back up. We're just gonna tap our ankles and then walk right back out. All the way out fully again. And then right back up. Good. Let's go for one more time. Just right out. Try to keep your heels on the floor as long as you can so you really get that stretch in the back of your legs there. All the way out. And then all the way back up. Good. And then from here, we're just gonna round up and roll up through our spine. Okay, this next one we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a few lunges and add in a few upper body movements with it, okay? So just follow me, you're gonna just step forward, drop your back and you're gonna rotate over both sides and then come back up, okay? Step forward into it, turn, turn, and up, okay? Join me and you're ready, forward, turn, turn, and up. Keep going down forward, turn, turn, and up. One more each side, down, turn, turn, good, up. Last one on this leg, turn, turn, and up, good. Now we're gonna walk right back out, that interim, and we're gonna do a little bit more with the back of our lower leg, our calves, okay? So let's walk right back out, all the way down from here. We're gonna put your hips in the air so you can slide your hands a bit back again. And we're just gonna pump our heels. So you're gonna drop one heel down to the floor while the opposite knee comes in, switching. Dropping the other heel now as close to the floor as you can while the other heel comes in and switch. Okay, go here. So we're just gonna pump them down, slow reaches towards the floor. There you go, keep going. I'm gonna spend a bit more time here. Push, pump, two, three, and four. And then just walk your toes now up to meet your hands. Okay, you're gonna turn one way, turn the other way, and then again, roll up through your spine, through your back, right up to the top. Okay, from here we're gonna do a bit of shoulder circles. Okay, so you have them nice and small and nice and slow. Stepping side to side just so we can just keep it moving here. Okay, then we're gonna make those circles bigger. Full circles all the way. Good, a few more. Good. Okay, bring it to a stop, back out. Now go backwards. And you can keep those steps going side to side. Bigger circles. Woo. Good, and let's shake it off. We are ready to go. So, again, we're just gonna go through a few movements here. We're trying to, we're just gonna keep it a little light. We're gonna push through them, and then we're gonna just revisit and tackle those moves and see how we do with them, okay? So our first one, is going to be a vertical jump, okay? So this is one of those jumps that you wanna think max power, right? Jumping as high as you can. This in the sport of basketball would be like we're getting a rebound. So whether my team shot or the other team shot, we're trying to get that ball in case it doesn't go in, if it bounces off the rim or off the backboard, we wanna catch it so then our team has the possession and we can make the next move, okay? 
before I draw it, we're just gonna think, jump as high as you can to grab that ball, and then we're gonna land, and I'll show you that. So first, first step for the vertical jump, okay? Think you want to do what we call a counter movement, so you're gonna just load it at the bottom, okay? This is kind of like loading, 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 gathering all that energy, and then we're gonna explode up, okay? So watch me, I'm gonna go down, load, and then up, and down, okay? We're gonna do that one more time. Feel free to join me in this one, but then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna land once we have the ball in our hands, okay? So join me one time again. I'm gonna load, up, good. So when I go up, I'm gonna reach, okay? If you got the space, I want you to reach your arms all the way up, because sometimes we can't just depend on our jump, right? We gotta depend on that reach to be able to grab that ball, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to land. So load it up with me here. Load it, reach, and then land, okay? So you're gonna land with the ball. You can land with the ball in front of you if you have the ability and it feels good and you just kind of get that momentum. You're gonna land with the ball at your side. The point of landing with the ball at their side now, it's easy to make a next move. We can step, right? We can put it up and shoot. We can step into a pass. All right, so let's try that again with the landing. Ready, guys, here we go. Load it at the bottom. Load, up, catch land and now we can make a move so i'm gonna go over those three moves again because now we're gonna do a reaction so as we land we're going to make one of those moves so as we land i'm gonna say drive which just means to dribble so you're gonna go so you're gonna just step okay you can keep your hands at your side but you're gonna just step in the direction if you want to you can start getting that ball going totally up to you so that's drive second cue would be to pass so you're just gonna step into it Okay, and the second one will be to shoot. So you're just gonna go up and shoot the ball. Okay, shoot, just a shooting motion up, extending through your hands, look at the wrist, okay? All right, so here we go, are we ready? So I want you guys to listen up. I'm gonna say up as our first cue, which means what? Jump in the air. As we're coming down, I'm gonna say the next cue. So I want you to not try to do it in the air, right? Don't stumble, I want you to land and then do the cue. I'm just giving it to you ahead of time so you have a little time to process that. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Ready, load. Up, shoot. Did you shoot? <laughs> All right. Gotta stay, stay on it, stay on it. Ready? Load. Up, pass, land, and then step into it. Okay, let's do it again. We're almost ready to go a bit faster, I feel ready. Load. Up, drive. Ready to go, you're ready to take off down the court. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Let's stay alert. Ready? We're gonna do these ones a little bit quicker. Load. Up, shoot. Good, good, good. Last one. Last one, get ready. Load. Up, pass. Good job, good job, good job. So that was just our vertical jump slash rebound reaction drill, okay? Second one we're gonna go into, and if you have watched the other basketball inspired movement session, you would have gotten a little glimpse of this, but we're gonna take it up a little notch, okay? So this is going to be our defensive shuffle. So again, our team's on defense, we're trying to get the ball back into our possession so we can have the control and maybe get another basket, okay? So first, your stance, you're nice and wide, you're gonna get low, okay? So then here, just start stepping with me, because this is a lateral. No matter where we're going, our defensive shuffle is typically laterally, or moving from side to side. So once you just get comfortable in your nice wide, wide stance, we're moving side to side, okay? Hands are just gonna be here for the most part. We're just gonna keep them out today. Specific situations, you'll change the hand position, but right now, we're just gonna keep them out, okay? So that's your lateral. Now we're gonna add in the shuffle component. So of course, usually in actual game mode, it is game speed, so it's a bit faster. So. What we're gonna do now with that lateral side step, we're just gonna take it a bit faster. So we're here, pushing off. What you wanna think is push off of that outside leg, you're gonna push and reach. Push and reach, okay? So that's what I want you to think about as you're doing this defensive shuffle, okay? Think push, reach, push, reach. We're gonna do two steps in each direction, okay? Now, with this, we're gonna do a little drill, which is just, a diagonal. Again, if you have the space, we're just gonna keep the steps a little bit smaller. So usually if you're coming up the court with somebody and they're dribbling, 
you're on the side of their opposite side. So they're usually like this, they're blocking you, so you're typically on this side. So usually we're leaving them up on the diagonal, okay? So we're gonna be here. We're gonna go push. I know this way so I don't block you guys out. So then you're gonna go here, you know, push, reach, push, reach. You took them to the corner and then push, reach, push, reach. And then we're just gonna go back and back. So one thing is when I get to that corner, as I do my shift, I'm gonna plant my foot and then open up. So that's what, you want, that's what I want you to get used to here, okay? Okay, are you ready? So we're just gonna go one corner, two corner, and then back, back. Ready, here we go. Sit low and go, push, push, plant, open, push, push. Good, now we're here, back this way, push. Push, plant, open, push, push. Good, we're gonna do that again. Now we're gonna do two times, back to back. When we get back to our starting position, we're gonna go through that sequence again. Let's go, ready, get low, go. Push, push, plant, open, push, push, stop. Back the other way, push, push, plant, open, push, push. One more time, get low, go. Over, over, open, over, over. Back the other way, push, reach, step, push, reach, and done. Good job, and that is our defensive shuffle, guys. Good, good work, okay? So this next one, this is a, a ladder drill. All right, so this ladder drill is one of my favorites in terms of being athletic with it because it kind of allows for a little bit of change of direction, which in games and sports is huge. You wanna be able to change the way you're going without tripping over your feet, right? So it, thinks, it has a lot about, about thinking, but also moving in the same time without tripping over your feet because sometimes that can usually lead to injury. So here's one simple way, one simple drill. We're gonna stand with our feet hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Think almost like the defensive stance that we just did. So nice and low, and it's just called the crossover. So say when someone's coming at you with the ball, right, and they're doing all the fancy things right between the legs, maybe behind the back, and it might psych you out and you find yourself, you kind of do something like that. This is kind of, kind of to help prevent that. So they're coming at you, you see the switch direction, you're gonna cross one foot over and then get in front of them. You wanna to try to beat them, okay? So again, think here. So you're coming over, you're gonna just rotate through your hips, step, and then jump, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add in a little bit of reaction to it. So say we're just in this, you probably won't do an exact game, but we're gonna do it for the sake of this drill. So I'm gonna be here, we're gonna just do our fast feet, and I'm gonna say cross, okay? So we're gonna be here, and say cross, step, over, and then back here, right? Step, over, and then back here, okay? So let's go for 20 seconds, and we're just gonna cross, anytime I say cross, if we're not crossing, what are we doing? We're right here, okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go, get low. Cross, so step, over, you gotta beat the opponent. Cross, get crossed. Keep going, keep going. Two more seconds, cross. So that make sure when you land, you're landing back in that wide stance. Cross, cross, and rest, shake it off. Shake it off, good job, guys. We're just gonna do one more, and we're nearing the end of our movement session, right? We don't wanna keep you up too much, because we got our schooling to get back to. So with this now, last and last and final drill. If you're still with me, let's do it. So this is gonna be a closeout. Most of these moves today were defense specific. Okay, so we're on the opposing team trying to just get the ball back so we can get an advantage down the court. So the next one is a closeout. This is something if I'm the person defending the ball, so the person that's coming up the court, the point guard typically, I'm defending that person. Once they pick up the ball, I can do what's called closeout, which means closing in on them. Because once they pick up the ball in basketball, you gotta make a move. You can't start picking it up and dribbling again, or else referee will blow its whistle, call a violation on you, double dribble, okay? So if someone picks up the ball, they either gotta shoot, pass. Those are typically your options there, okay? So here we go. So think, again, we're gonna start off with our fast feet just to kind of get us moving right now. And then when I say ball, so that's just gonna be meaning the person picks up the ball, we're gonna do this close out. So fast feet here, ball. Think you're doing little steps, kind of try to slow your speed down a little bit. So it's gonna be like this. 
That's typically the sound you'll hear on the court too, okay? And then our hands, we're closing out. So one is up top, okay? Because that's if they shoot, and one is down low if they try to pass. So you can kind of, you have the option. So you're in a good position to react to whatever they do. You can try to block them, right? So here we go. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna say ball, and you can go here, okay? You can even say ball, 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 which again, in a drill, that's just a cue to kind of get used to the movement and getting used to um, what that move calls for, okay? So let's go. Here we go. Passing. Ball. And take it back. Good. Ready? Fasting. Ball. Close out. Back it up. Here we go. Ready? Fasting. Stay with me here. Ball. Good. Back it up. Fasting. Ball. Back it up. Keep going. We're going to go faster. Fasting. Ball. Back it up. Fasting. Good, one more with me, stay here. Stay here, listen for it. You gotta react, ball. Good, and slow it down. Good job. We're gonna just finish it off. Let's just bring in our heart rate back down, cool down a little bit. So just get your hands above your head. Good work, everyone, that is done. I hope you enjoyed our basketball movement session today. Whew. Deep breaths in. Deep breath out. When you do that deep breath in, I want you to let all the air fill your lungs and then let it back out. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. You're gonna reach above your head, go up onto your toes, big breath in, big breath out, and just collapse, bending forward. Okay? You're gonna bend the knees a little bit, inhale, big breath in. Big breath out, extend the legs back. And then slowly roll up through your spine, through your back, roll the shoulders back. Great job, everyone.